Hi everyone, my name is Bill Challenger. I'm the president of Cannon Barworks. Welcome to Cannon Barworks. Um, we're often asked, what makes Cannon Bar the best bar bar none? So I'd like to take this opportunity to give you a tour of our facility on this beautiful summer day, and we'll show you what makes the best bar bar none. So everyone, the, uh, the first uh, thing that one must do um, is have the right steel to make a quality bar. We have ours made for us in Germany and it's referred to as a high strength chrome alloy steel. It has a bit more chrome in it than normal bars have and a little bit more molybdenum. The chrome is for wear resistance and the molybdenum is for strength. Now the next step is once we've uh, got our steel in, we then cut it on a water jet. And the reason we use a water jet is so that there's no heat affected zone around the outside edge of the bar. Uh, that would distort the material and uh, could lead to cracking. Once the bars have been water jet cut, they're then sent out to, for heat treating. That's the only step in the entire process that we don't do in-house. Um, but the, the bars are sent out and they're hardened to a body hardness of approximately 40 to 42 Rockwell C. Bars come back, they're referred to as heat treated blanks. Now after that, they have to be straightened. So we do that two ways, either with a hammer and a press, or alternatively, we have a parts leveler, and the parts leveler takes out any twists or bends in the bar, and also has the added advantage that it stress relieves the steel. Once that is done, then the bars go onto our surface grinder, and we surface grind so that they can become a precise thickness, which is very important because we want that groove to be dead center in the bar. After the bars have been surface ground, the next step for regular chainsaw bars, our traditional super bar, is that they go into our CNC mill, one of our two mills, and we put the pocket in the bar for the sprocket. A very precise, tight fit, uh, so that the bar and the tip blend together precisely. Once that step is completed, we have the majority of our inventory in a form of what we call milled blanks. So they have now been stress relieved, they have been surface ground, the pocket for the sprocket has been put in, and then the big step next is that the bars have a precision ground groove put into them. We do this with stones as opposed to milling the groove in because we get a very smooth honed surface which is accurate to within two or three thousandths of the called chain gauge. This is very important so that the, bar, the chain runs dead true down the center of the bar without any wobbling from side to side. We also square all the rails and profile the bars so that you can see when you set a bar on its edge, it will stand perfectly straight. Now that the bars have been grooved, the next step and this is very unique to Canon as well, we flame harden our rails. The reason we use flame is because it graduates the hardness down to a depth of about 100 thou. This means that you can reprofile and square the rails on the bar multiple times to maximize the life of your super bar. After the bar has been flame hardened, we then put in the oil holes and we have a, a, a unique Venturi style oil hole on the super bar, uh, which enhances oil flow. There's no such thing as too much oil when it comes to chainsaw bars if you want to get long life out of your bar. After the oil holes have been inserted, we then put the bar through a polishing machine, which uh, makes a dead smooth finish on the outside edge of the bar, prior to the bar going into our black oxide system. Oxiding the bar is the same finish as what is referred to as a gunmetal finish. Exactly the same process that you would use uh, if you were making a rifle barrel. The bars are then silk screened with our logo. 
And finally, the bars are treated with a product called Dry Touch, which is a, a wax impregnated oil, uh, which prevents rust, but also serves to pre-lubricate uh, inside the groove of the bar. Once that is completed, then the bars go into stock and as ordered, we put the tips on before they're packaged and shipped out to our customers. We also heel press all of the bars over, uh, I believe it's 20 inches, or 28 inches rather, and we do that to take out the stress in the heel so that you don't get cracking at the heel end of the bar. So there you have it, everyone. You've now uh, got a pretty good idea of how the best bar bar none is built. Thank you very much for coming on a tour of our factory. Um, I hope uh, you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, now I'd like to conclude by going through uh, some of our product line. Well, our most famous bar is our Canon Super Bar. We've been manufacturing them since 1955. They're meant for heavy duty falling and bucking applications, uh, major firewood cutting, uh, all-round, durable, long-lasting bar. Our latest development is the Duralite Super Bar. It is made in the same way as a Super, super Bar is, with a precision ground groove and flame-hardened rails. It remains stiff and rigid. It's just as durable, but it weighs 25% less, depending on length, a little more or less than that. Uh, it has been extremely well received. Um, the comments that we're getting on Instagram and Facebook have been uh, amazing. The next bar in our lineup is our Super Mini. It's a bar specifically designed for narrow kerf chain. It is very popular with tree service and log home uh, builders. Uh, it allows a longer bar to be run on a low powered saw. For example, you can run a 32 inch Super Mini on a 62 cc saw. Carving bars are one of our specialties. Nobody offers a wider selection of carving bars than Canon does. Everything from eight inch, di eight inch dime tip bars right up to 28 inch tuny tip bars. Uh, you get, uh, get, can get them in both 043 and 050 gauge, uh, very popular items sold around the world. Milling or slabbing bars are a very important section of our business. Uh, live edge furniture, uh, the demand for that has been growing over recent years. Uh, we make all kinds of milling bars for use on Alaskan sawmills. Uh, made by a variety of manufacturers. And this is probably the bar that I like to build the best. Um, it's a lot of fun building competition, fat belly competition, roller nose bars. We have our own roller nose. Um, it's exciting uh, to build these bars for world champions like Danny Marr over in Europe and uh, Mike Sullivan here in North America consistent winners with Canon competition bars. We also make a full line of package cutting bars. These are bars that are used for cutting bundles of lumber. Uh, they're used on machines like LM and Holtec. Harvester bars, another very important part of our business. We manufacture a very high quality three quarter pitch as well as 404 pitch. Uh, harvester bars for virtually every make and model of harvester uh, that is available. We, we also make um, a large number of custom bars. These are bars for people who want to restore vintage chainsaws, uh, for special applications, uh, for example, uh, very skinny bars that were used by a veterinary dentist. Uh, uh, for the purpose of removing tusks um, and doing root canals on elephants. Uh, some very unique projects, uh, a unique pruning bar uh, which prevents uh, bark damage, uh, double tipped bars for cutting panels, uh, a whole variety of special things. So if you didn't see anything in our lineup, 
that meets your requirement, always please remember that Canon is prepared to make a custom bar uh, no matter what the specifications. So once again, thank you everyone. I hope you have enjoyed this virtual tour and introduction to our line. Um, we make a bold claim when we say the best bar bar none and we back it up. Please remember that our bars are guaranteed for life against defects in material or workmanship. Thank you very much.